faithful. Any part of your life, God is not in complete control of. That's faith. To me, that's faith. He can control everything but this, because I got to do this. If I got faith that he can handle everything and he can do all that, I can give him everything. I can give him my children, my job, my, my wife, my relationship with my wife, my, my everything that I have in this world, everything that I'll put here. I can give it to him and be faithful and understand that he loves me. Yeah. And he will. <coughs> but without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that comes to God must believe that he is. We've got to believe that he is. <laughs> it's not hard after tonight. <laughs> and, uh, uh, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Yeah. Diligently seek him. you got to diligently seek him. If you're looking for him once in a while, that's not going to please anybody. If I want to talk to my wife every couple of weeks, I'm not going, that's not going to I'm not going to have a wife. I, I don't know if it's in there, <laughs> but I know her. <laughs> so, diligently, if I wake up in the morning and I want to kiss her, good morning, I do. Why? Because I love her. And if I love Jesus, if I love God, I'm going to wake up in the morning and I'm going to look for him. I'm going to go to him. And I'm going to pray. And I'm going to worship him. And I'm going to read his word. And I'm going to talk to him. And I'm going to have all day with him. And I'm going to share him with you. And you guys are going to share him with me. So we, uh, we have been rewarded with everlasting life. The rest of the stuff is just... It's, that's exactly what it is. It's a bonus. It's the cream of cream on top. It's the cherry on Sunday. It's Friday. Oh, hallelujah. Anyway, next one. That's it. Sorry. Go for it. Anyway. I am hungry. Can we go to the next one, Miss Kathy, please? Um, and this one. Anytime I read Psalms, I just, it's just something, something to the Psalms, something to, yeah. to, to David. And uh, I don't have to go into all the David. I don't have, all I have to really think about is for days, for weeks, they would play and they would sing. And this is what reached out to me. Imagine saying this for 24 hours, two days a week. Unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. O oh my God, I trust in thee. Amen. Days and days and days. Just say it and sing it. Put a harmony to it just in your head. Just rap it. You can rap it. I can rap it. You can rap it. <laughs> but uh, it's uh, so let's worship like David. Yes. Let's not be ashamed of it. Let's, uh, let's just let's lift up our soul. And trusting God yeah. with it all. And then pray like Daniel. This one, I, I really like this one because it's the lion's, the lion's day. And uh, when, basically when Daniel, when I picked this one out, I read in the scripture. I got to go to it because I'm lost right now. I got too many things going on. <laughs> but basically what it was is they're trying to trap him. They're trying to trap Daniel because he's... He's the chosen one, right? He's, there's Darius, there's Daniel. And then there's everybody, the presidents and the princes, and there's, uh, there's jealousy. So they, they talk the king into signing a decree, which can't be, can't be broken, right? Uh, according to their law, that says that they cannot, that nobody can worship or pray unto anybody, any other gods, except for Darius for a day for a period of 30 days so it's, it's like that it's like pretty much that I'm looking for the actual scripture but anyway and the king signs his decree and Daniel Daniel's he should be running things he's the man he's second only because of, there's a king that that needs to be the king. But Daniel is, is he's a representative of God. 
And so he is second in command. And everybody wants him to fall. And they can't find any, any fault in his life. They can't find anything wrong with him. He's not doing anything wrong. So they sneak this decree in for the king. And they say, sign it. You're the only one that's going to be worshipped. You're the only one that needs to be prayed to. And Daniel hears about it, whatever. Not me. He goes into his house. And his window being opened, in his chamber toward Jerusalem, he kneeled upon his knees three times a day and gave thanks before his God, as he did aforetime. So there was no, there was no decree that mattered to him. There was no king that was going to tell him who, where, when he was going to worship or pray to. He knew who he was and whose he was, and he will pray to his God, Amen. the Almighty, yes. with the windows open. Yeah. Yeah. Going to the lion's den. He's going to the lion's den. That's what that's what's gonna happen. But he knows it. But when you do something like that, you already know that God's gonna deliver you. Because he's faithful. So go ahead, throw me in the lion's den. The next one said, the, the next clip. So he goes to the lion's den. The king is beside himself. He doesn't even want to do it. Can we go to the next one? It's, so the king fasts, prays, and he's freaking out. He doesn't want to do, he doesn't want to put Daniel in, into the lion's den, but he does. The next morning he comes, and he asks where he is, and Daniel makes it. But the angel of the Lord has shut their mouths. Hallelujah. And when I read that, he shut the lion's mouths. He shut the prince's mouths. Shut the president's mouth. Shut the Dalbert's mouth. Shut anybody's mouth who says that God isn't real. Right? You gotta be quiet if you gotta say something like that. Because we can prove that in the lion's den, if he's alive the next morning, you can't you can't take anything away from him. And also, when you pray, when you have faith, you affect others with your commitment. Daniel 6.26, and this is the king speaking, I make a decree. Now this one is the second decree, right? I make a decree which can't be broken, that in every dominion of my kingdom, men tremble in fear before the God of Daniel, for he is the living God, and steadfast forever in his kingdom, that which shall not be destroyed, and his dominion shall be even unto the end. What can one person do? Huh? Yeah. If Daniel can do that for a kingdom, and we got a few kids that are down to tell some people about Jesus, pray like and worship like David, be committed to him 365 days a year, 100%. And can you imagine the potential that we got? We got crews over there. <laughs> that kid. <laughs> that kid's something else. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> we're going to be seeing that kid up here, so right. he's, uh, he's a little warrior. He's, uh, the things he's seen, the things he's been through, he's strong, and uh, I'm proud to, I'm proud to be, uh, to know him and all these kids. But, uh, and then the next one, the last, the last clip is, uh, therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. And that's what we that's what we need to do. And the disciples are all of us. We have the discipleship that we have to pass on to the other people. It's being committed to something bigger than us. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna pass on. But what are we gonna pass on? We can't we can't continue to do the same old, same old stuff. We uh we have very limited amount of time. A hundred years still isn't a lot. And if you tell one person the, the law, the six degrees of separation, I believe it is. I mean, we, if we tell five people, then there it is, we cover the earth. We can't stop it, and we can't stop at five. But we can go everywhere we go, talk about it. Live for him, be about him. You do not know. I'm about my father's business. Come on. Come on. Mm. That's, that's really what it comes down to. That's just, that was the, the vision that God gave me. 
And uh, hopefully, I pray that in a year, January 1st, that's when we started. Next January 1st, something's going to be different. Yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of stumbling right now. Uh, so if anyone <laughs> would like to uh, be committed to Jesus, for 365 days, we have little party gifts. <laughs> so uh, we got them. Uh, just we'll, we'll give them up, give them freely. Giving the people, I'm not, we got, we got a lot. We got two kids in youth group. <laughs> Who orders for this stuff? <laughs> if we get 200, honey, they'll come. Um, <laughs> we got to go out and get them. <laughs> so I appreciate you guys' this time. You want one, brother? <laughs> Spaghetti feet. I apologize for that. And, and the, the freezing cold in the in the uh, movie night. The nacho cheese wasn't all the way done. Y'all came through. <laughs> um, what was that cooler? You guys showed up for the drive. Um, we're not going to be able to do it without you. So please continue. We have a uh, we have some. We gotta do something. We gotta continuously keep going, um, going forward, get these kids out to sea and out on the street Amen. talking about Jesus. And uh, later on, we got a, a TV raffle coming up uh, as soon as we get the tickets. Soon, Sunday, maybe. It's a 42 inch LCD video. And, uh, you know, 10 bucks. $10 TV, right? Yeah. I like five tickets. It's a $50 TV. It's, you know, there's going to be a limit to them, though. You know, so the odds are good. Somebody here is going to win if you all buy a ticket or five. <laughs> anyway, but, uh, I'm just so thankful that I'm able to come up here and uh, uh, speak to you. And, and share this with you. This is our vision. I believe it's it's given uh, from the Lord, and I believe these these kids and all of us are gonna are gonna be able to do something, and the world changes. We got the best. We got the best ammunition there is. So uh, I just uh, I want to thank you guys again. Thank uh, thank God for delivering me and. Uh, don't hurt anybody. Don't, 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 <laughs> no, no slingshot. No slingshot. Okay. But, uh, so I just, if anybody, I don't know what to say about that. So, okay, I just like to pray. All right, thank you. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We love you, Lord Jesus. We have the presence that, that we felt here tonight, Lord, is is but a taste. We thank you for being here for us, with us, being on our side, being so faithful to us. Lord. We ask that the little things that we do continue to grow the kingdom. I ask, Holy Spirit, that you just feel each and every one of us and just let us go forward. Direct our paths, Lord. Show us how to love like you love. Amen. Let us be forgiving. Forgiving. Let us uh, <coughs> let us not only show up to church on Sunday. Let's have church every day. Yes. 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 Let us let you in our lives yes. 24 hours a day. Yes. Let us give it all to you, Father. 
And I thank you for Wesley giving his heart to you, Father. Lord, that's what it's really all about. If that's in the kingdom, let's answer prayer. Let us all pray like let us all pray like Daniel. Lord. Yes. Let us open the windows. Let us tell everybody. Yes. Lord, direct our steps, our words, and our actions. Let us go forth from here and spread the kingdom. Spread the good news. Spread, spread the word of Jesus. And he dies, died and rose again for us, each and every one of us. So then we may one day come face to face. Yes. And Amen. And be glorified in that. <coughs> Lord, we ask all of these things only for your glory. Yes, Jesus. We ask for protection. We ask for a spirit of sickness, depression. Yes. Any bondage be broken in Jesus' yes, name. Yes, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Lord, I pray that we take every opportunity that you give us and, and do the right thing. Father, again, we love you. <coughs> and in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.